Hello my friends, welcome back to my channel. If you don't know me, my name is Carolyn, um, and I do a bunch of this type of stuff. You know, sculpting, art things, uh, talking to a microphone in an empty room to voice over a video, things that are normal. So today I kind of just wanted to do a little bit of a public service announcement, if you can call it that. Um, it's just, it's been hectic. Hasn't it? It's been very, very strange in the world lately. And with this strangeness, no matter what side of the strangeness you are on, um, I think we can all agree that everything is just so crazy. And I just wanted to take a minute to say that it's totally fine if you're stressed out right now. Like, that's a normal response to things being out of control and you know like if you've only re just recently started to pay attention to the state of the world or if you've been paying attention for a while or it, I feel like it's always been like this like there's always been things that are sinister that have been happening just since the dawn of humanity. It's always been there. And with that being said, I don't know if it'll make people feel better or worse <laughs> that everything has always just been this chaotic. I think the media doesn't do a very good job at calming us down. I think it's doing a very good job of separating people and I don't think that's good. But yeah, so especially right now, if you're home much more often than you normally would be, if you haven't seen your family, or if you haven't seen your friends as often as you usually do, if you feel isolated, and then all this stuff is happening, like, remember that it's okay to talk to people and reach out to people, especially if you're having a hard time, because especially in the winter, things just go downhill so much more uh, quickly. And also remember that it's okay to like take care of yourself. If you like face masks, if you like painting your toes, if you like just sitting outside and meditating, if you really enjoy smoothies or coffee or just... It's okay to seek out the things that make you happy especially right now, to try to make yourself feel better. I have friends that uh, shoot guns and that makes them feel better. Makes me feel better. I love that. It's great. If you haven't tried it, 10 out of 10. Would recommend. But moving on. Um, it's also, I feel like it's a really good time to maybe jump into a hobby that you've been thinking about doing, start a new project. Um, I just rearranged my room entirely. I'm still working on it. Um, but I'm setting up new enclosures for my pets. I'm setting up more space to do my art. I started this YouTube channel. Um, I still got a job and I'm gonna go back to school soon, but I thought this was a great opportunity to start doing things that I haven't had the chance to do. But also, these types of crafty um, hobbies or things that I do are a really helpful outlet for me. So find something that makes you feel better, whether it's a hobby or a craft or cooking. Cooking, I love cooking. It's, that's really fun, especially when you're home, if you cook for your family or your friends, if you have the chance to see them. The point being, finding things that can occupy your mind while this en entire craziness is happening in the world. I've found that I needed to turn off and delete my personal social media accounts even. Everything that I have now strictly revolves around growing my art. Um, like my art as an entity instead of myself. Um, I mean, I guess I can go hand in hand a little bit like me and my art because we're we are one and the same but um 
It helps a lot not seeing news that could very possibly be fake and then trying to research that, make sure that's right, and then being fact-checked by something that isn't correct. And my head is hurt for a long time, guys. <laughs> so, um, and it really doesn't help anxiety either if you're just trying to find out what the truth is, or you're trying to find out what the right move is, and turn your phones off. Like, that's been the best thing for me. I mean, that's not going to be um, the answer for everybody, but I've noticed just turning off my notifications and deleting my personal pages has at least helped with my anxieties a little bit. Not having to hear this person against this person against this person against this person. This person says this. No, but this person says this. And uh, yeah, I don't like it. Okay, but I wholeheartedly believe that everything happens for a reason. Whether it does or not, it makes me feel better to say it. So I believe that. I think that humans are very well at adapting. And I think things always even out to point everything in a better direction. So, maybe all the stuff that's happening is a blessing in disguise. Either way, humanity always finds a way to adapt and overcome things, because we're animals, that's just what we do. We evolve. So in this time of evolution, I think it is in everybody's best interest to Try to keep your ears open, listen to other people, keep your mind open, try not to be entirely too biased, so, because in that way, then you'll never learn anything if you're closed-minded and you're biased towards one side. Well, nobody will ever learn anything, we'll just continue to keep dividing ourselves. So, I think it's a good idea to remain peaceful and to listen to what other people have to say. But I'm also a weird hippie that sits under trees and meditates in the summer. So, do what works for you. <laughs> Peace, love, and happiness. No, but in all honesty, try to find things that make you happy. Try to do things that make you happy. Turn your brain on to things that put the world in a positive light. And then once you do that, everything seems to fall into place the way it should for your own life. Or at least that's what I've found. I'm just trying to remember that the world is not full of darkness. It is an immensely beautiful place to be if we look in the right places and we open our eyes and try to focus on the things that are beautiful in the world. So now it's out in the open that I am a humongous hippie. <laughs> Hopefully you still want to watch my videos after this, but I don't know, I wanted to just talk about it. It makes me feel better. But yeah, let me know if you liked this video. If you did, drop a like, leave a comment, tell me the things that maybe you would like me to cover. What are the things that you would like to see me make? I have some uh, other things that are going to come out very soon. It's not going to take as long as... Um, this video did to come out. These were presents, so I didn't want to do a video until they went to their um, prospective owners. But uh, yeah, if you made it this far through, thank you so much for watching. Um, hopefully I will see you guys next time. I'll leave you to enjoy the rest of the one minute we have left here. So I'll see you next time. I hope you have a beautiful day. Bye guys.